Hey YouTube, Connor here again. Um, so to anybody that knows me personally, when I started like seriously, seriously playing competitive was around the uh, 2014 slash 2015 NAWCQ season. Um, when Duelist Alliance came out, it introduced Satellar Knights, which is what got me my very first invite ever. Um, and I've been playing so competitively ever since. I mean, I went to, like, regionals and stuff before that. But, you know, I was playing, like, big, big competitive after that. I love this set. This is my favorite booster set of all time. And I got one of the special edition boxes. This box looks really good. Yeah, it looks so good. So it comes with nine dual slides packs. One of these, beginner's guide. Not gonna really look that. So, in the, the smaller pack, we got a Hip Hippo, Zing Zing Unleashed, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Fire Suit, Wonder Balloons, and Deskbot 2. First pack of the Lithal Lions. Sonata the Melodious Diva. Monarch Storm Force. So much relevant stuff came out of this set. Artifact Chakram. Curse of the Shadow Prison. It's Teller Knight Skybridge. Our first holographic is Felice Lightsworn Archer. Stellar Nova Wave. Artifact Lancia. Yet another relevant card. And Yang Zing Prana. You know, I, I think this set really did age well. It, hold, it held its value so well, too. Uh, Fishborg Doctor, another Monarch Stormforth, Stellar Knight Vega. You know, I actually needed a second one for the longest time, so I'm glad I finally got the Exchange of Night and Day. Shadal Falco. Another super rare, uh, Beyond Earth of the Yang Zing. Chain Dispel, Recover. Oh, that sees some competitive play. Cloud Castle. I don't think you were, yeah, I don't think you were guaranteed holographic last night. Yeah, yeah, he definitely won't, actually. Definitely won't. Uh, Perform File Skeet Skimmer. Dijin, Demolisher of Rituals, Pilgrim Reaper, Exchange of Night and Day, Sir Malabaranch of the Burning Abyss, Recover, Battery Man, Unicall High, Dragon Decision. Artifact Chakram, Form Pile Skeeter Skimmer, Dustbot One. That's a card you see a little bit of play now. Battle Guard Howling. Shadal Dragon. Lancia. Stellar Knight Alpha. Swordfish. Hippo Carnival. Super Over Samurai. Mega. I'm just going to speed through the commons, honestly. Uh, UA Perfect Ace. Shell Spromata. From the White. Hip Hippo. UA Stadium. White Prince. Panzer Dragon. Profile Swordfish. Cloud Castle. The agent that wasn't really, eh, I didn't find it too good personally. And the light side of Dark Arm Dragon. I forgot that that came in that set.
Uh, dang, what is that? Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. <laughs> you know, actually, I think I was thinking about using that in a deck. Um, back six. Shell Hedgehog. Insane Unleashed. Stellar Knight Altair. Man, I don't think I've, like, ever seen this card in my life before. Pendulum back. If you have two cards in your Pendulum Zones, target two monsters in your graveyard, each with a level between exclusive the Pendulum Scales of cards in your Pendulum Zones. Add them to your hand. Yeah, I've legit never seen that card in my life. Got two more packs. Another Nefarious. Actually did need that card. Perform Pal Whip Snake. Survivor Samurai Blue Brawler. Pop up. Battle Guard King. Chaos Eat. Last pack. Forum Pal Kaleidoscope, and unfortunately we did not get another holographic, but hey, three holographics out of nine packs, you know, not bad. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.